Hello everyone. We have a quiz and the first question is what does a current of 4 milliampere represent in a standard 4 to 20 milliamp loop? The 4 to 20 milliamp signals usually represents a process variable. The 4 milliampere represents 0% of process variable. That means a zero scale and 20 milliampere represents full scale that means the full span of the measurement in this case if you see the options we have fault condition negative value maximum process value minimum process value the 4 milliampere represents minimum process value that means zero percentage of the process variable or zero scale next question what does the current of 20 milliampere represent in a standard 4 to 20 milliamp loop? As discussed, the 20 milliampere represents the 100 percentage of process variable. That means maximum process value. That means option C. And we will go to next question. Why is 4 milliampere used as the minimum value in a 4 to 20 milliamp signal? What is the primary advantage of using 4 milliampere instead of 0 milliampere? It is for live zero detection. Option number B. What is the meaning of live zero? It is easy to identify a true zero reading and a practical failure. If you have 4 milliampere, then the PLC identifies this 4 milliampere as true zero reading. Let's say due to some issue, the cable is broken or your sensor is faulty, then it is easy for the PLC to identify this faulty signal and we will call this as live zero detection. Next question. In a 0 to 20 milliamp system, that means here the signal range is 0 to 20 milliampere. And here we are controlling a tank level. What will the PLC display if the tank is 50% is full but the wire break? Let's say the system is normal, then in that case we will receive 10 milliampere signal to the PLC. That means it shows us 50% of tank level. The tank level, the representation is 0% to 100% level signal. In this case, the wire is broken. That means no current will be received by the PLC. That means we have 0 milliampere at the PLC. As this scale range is 0 to 20 milliampere, the 0 here represents 0 percentage of level signal. Option number D. Go to next question. Why are current signals preferred over voltage signals in industry? The answer is option number C, less noise sensitivity. The voltage signals are easily affected by the cable resistances, electromagnetic interferences, induction voltage interferences, etc. That is why the current signal is more preferred and the standard in the industry for carrying the signals from the field to the control room or vice versa. Next, go to next question. What happens to loop current if a wire breaks in a 4 to 20 milliamp circuit? We have a sensor or transmitter and it is connected to a PLC and it is using 4 to 20 milliamp loop current. The 4 represents minimum process value and 20 milliampere represents maximum process value. And due to some reason, the wire is broken. 
right? Then how much current will flow to the PLC? It is zero. The wire is broken. There is no flow in the current. Option number C, it drops to zero milliampere. Let's go to next question. Why are precision resistors used in 4 to 20 milliampere loops? The main reason is to convert this loop current into equivalent voltage signal, 1 to 5 volts DC. The PLCs and DCS systems have analog input cords. All these cords have converters like analog to digital converter. These converters require voltage signal as input. For that purpose, we have to convert this current signal into voltage signal and then this voltage signal will be converted into equivalent digital signal and then it will be transferred from the analog input card to the CPU for further processing. For that purpose, we need a simple standard resistor for converting current to voltage signal. Next question. What resistor value is commonly used to convert 4 to 20 milliamp signal into 1 to 5 volts? We are using standard 250 ohms resistor. That means option C. As per the Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. You can calculate R. R is equal to V by I. You can do this calculation. R is equal to V by I. V means, let's say, 1 volt divided by 4 milliampere. How much? It is 250 ohms. Okay. Next question. What does a loop current of 12 milliampere represent in a linear system? Here we are assuming the standard uh, current signal range, which is 4 to 20 milliamp signal. And in this standard range, what is the 12 milliampere represents? If you see, you can do this calculation. 12 milliampere is the uh, 50 percent of signal if you see in this range 4 to 20 milliampere signal. So 12 milliampere represents 50 percentage of process variable. Nothing but in terms of scale, mid scale, option C, 50 percentage of the scale of the measurement. Okay. Next question. Which device converts a sensor signal into a standardized 4 to 20 milliampere output. We have different options, controller, actuator, transmitter, and power supply, right? If you see the transmitter, it measures the uh, process parameter and then converts that signal into equivalent 4 to 20 milliamp signal and then sends this signal to the PLC system. So option C is the right answer. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video. If you have any questions or queries regarding these quizzes, comment us and we will update you accordingly. Thank you.